It is match day two, Pez 2013 on PS2, UEFA Champions League, episode two, lots of twos. Hope you guys are doing well. It's the UEFA Champions League. If you missed episode one or match day one, I won 1-0 one against Spartak Moscow. So let's get into this. It's a way up Man United for match day two. So this is going to be far more tricky, I guess, than it was again at home against Spartak Moscow. So like I did mention in the first episode, I was considering changing the formation. I've tweaked it. It's still a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-1-3, but I like Totti there as a number 10 behind the striker. It's a bit more of a balanced side. I've got a DMF and a CMF. So uh, yeah, like I say, hopefully it's a bit more balanced that I can maybe keep the ball a little bit better. I don't know. But this will be a more difficult fixture away at Man United, obviously. And also, to correct myself, in the first episode, I did wonder if this was Sir Alex Ferguson's last season in charge of Man United, or it was David Moyes' first season. This would have been Sir Alex Ferguson's last season in charge, so just to clear that up. I actually support Man United, so I should know that. <laughs> I hated that Man United kit, guys. The tablecloth, so bad. I know it was like a shirt recognizing, I think, the, oh, I don't know, some industry in Manchester, like back in the 1900s. I'm probably getting all of this very wrong, but it was definitely, there was a reason for that shirt, is what I'm trying to say. I just, no, nah, I, I didn't like it. But yeah, I think. This Man United side's okay. It's not one of their best. I think they've got Van Per. Well, they have got Van Persie, haven't they? Because he fired them towards the league. It doesn't look like he's starting, though. Rooney and Anderson get us going. Okay. Oh, Raphael at right back. Overlapping there. Okay, let's get a good start here. So Eric Lamella, he does well. No, tried to do too much on his own though. Here's Rooney. He's going to be their danger man for sure. So I wonder if Van Persie's on the bench. Or, or I wonder if he'll feature in this match at all. It's a corner if it goes out. Oh, he keeps it in. Someone asked in um, the it's first gone. episode, in Match Day 1's episode, if I... Oh, hold that thought, hold that thought. It's Valencia. Oh. Oh, there. Rooney. Rooney headers into the open net and it's 1-0. Exactly That's not a good start. <laughs> Yeah, someone asked if I prefer Pez 2008 on PS2. Oh, I don't know about Rooney's face, guys. The light player likeness is a bit dodgy. Yeah, um, someone asked if I prefer this or Pez 2008. Because Dave and I are playing Pez 2008. I say this all the time. Go check out the co-op Master League playlist that we've got going. I love them both, guys. Probably... I probably prefer this, but I Pez 2008, the AI in that, the way the CPU plays in that is so interesting. It's so varied. So they're both brilliant games. It's hard to choose. Maybe this, but just. Only just. Is Pjanic. So I've put Tadai out on the uh, left wing, as you can see here. But I worry about goals, scoring goals when it comes to this Roma side. I I haven't really got any explosive players. I mean, Totti's at this stage very old, isn't he? As footballers go, he's not exactly an old person. So, hmm. But I like Roma. I got a soft spot for Roma. So, let's just see what we can do. Oh, Balzaretti. And gets the ball back. 
Oh, look at this charging run from the left back. Oh, he's, st <laughs> he's still going. Balzaretti. Oh, I should have passed. I tried to do too much. I've got to stop sprinting so much. So, Valencia with the throw in. Never sat right with me that Valencia having the uh, number seven shirt. I always remember he gave it back, didn't he? And he was like, no, nah, I'll have the number 25 shirt again, please. It's cursed the number seven shirt since Ronaldo was sold. Okay, it's Giggs. Giggs weaving in and out. Who's that, Nani? So I think United are playing with Giggs in midfield, aren't they? Where he did play at the latter end of his... Oh, what's that? Keep it in, keep it in. <laughs> yeah, Giggs did play in centre midfield, didn't he? Towards the end of his career. Oh, Nani, it's a good play. Yeah, they've got so many skillful players compared to me. Oh, he's on, though, Lamella. There he is. Not sure about that pass, though. Oh, Lamella. Okay. Right, nothing silly. There we go. Let's play some total football here. That's nice. Nice and calm. Ooh, oh, I got away with that. I got away with one there. Badiso, I liked him at centre-back. Very good centre-back. There's Tadai. Oh, Tadai, what is that, though? My wingers aren't very good, guys. They're not very good. That's good play. Let's see what Lamella can do. A chance to get across in. Oh, but again, I'm just well, sprinting. I'm, I'm being too direct. I'm not building up the play in the final third. That's good play. Here's De Rossi. Oh, that's poor. Hey. Yeah, uh, if you didn't know, guys, it's on top player difficulty. We always play the footy games on the highest difficulty uh, on this channel. Not because we think we're pro pairs players, because we're not. We're not the best in the world. We're not terrible. It's corner. Um, it's just because I like the challenge. It just makes it more interesting. You don't want to watch me win every game 5-0. Where's the fun in that? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's good from Balzaretti. My best player so far. He's in. And it's 1 1. That's a good finish. Is that to die? I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. It is. He's done nothing, really. But he stayed very cool, very calm for that finish. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I needed that. It's a lovely finish. Really nice. Yeah, he, I don't think De Gea is expecting me just to, to go straight with it. Like that. It's sort of a chipped finish, isn't it? I didn't mean to chip the ball. But anyway, it's 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> would I take a draw, a point, at Old Trafford? Yes, I would. But it's loads of time left. Well, we've got second half to come. I want my win in this, guys, obviously. Because I think Man United are going to be one of the top two in this group that, that end up going through. And then it's out of Roma, Spartak Moscow, and uh, Fenerbahce, I think. I don't know who this right back is, you know, Piris. I can't say his name. Don't remember him at all. Is he a fake player? Don't know. Oh, a vital tackle. Okay. 
Hey, look at that from the CPU. But then I give it away. There's Giggs. Anderson drags it wide, though. Anderson was a player I had high hopes for, like a lot of people did. He was very, very highly rated at Porto, I think. But he just never, ever got to the heights that he, or reached the heights that some people, or, or, or some people in the media were like, yeah, this guy is the real deal. He's going to be the next uh, whoever. And, oh, this is good football. Lamella. Lamella's in. Oh, what a tackle. Is that Vidic with the tackle? Superb defending from Man United. Yeah, Anderson was supposed to be the next real deal, basically. And and as you all know, he I think he was a bit of a party animal. I'm not sure. That seems to be a theme with some Brazilian footballers. Because Ronaldinho was the same. And he was a g genius. Like, an absolute joy to watch. But didn't he like to have a party? When he weren't playing, he was partying. He wants to get a cross in from here. Oh, I thought that was going to be a panel, you know. What was that? Will we get a possibilities, do you think, in the commentary, guys? Is this... I think this is the pairs where John Champion says possibilities. Oh, that was nearly a possibility for Man United there. There we go. It's Totti, but he hasn't got pace. I've got to think about this. Oh, oh, I did neither, though. I did neither. I didn't run at the defender, and I didn't deliver a good pass. Uh-oh. Oh. I just got a foot in at the end there. Balzaretti is probably my favourite player. I just love him at left-back. He's just so good. Oh. Oh, John Champion says, looks like a sub's about to come on. So is it going to be Van Persie? That's a good tackle from the Man United centre-back. Cut up to 70 minutes now. i got to think about what I want to do. Do I want to make changes or just keep going here? Ah, there's too much on that. I mean, Osvaldo's not done much at all, has he? I haven't got a lot of options. Oh, at centre forward. I've got Destro. Oh, I should have gone the other way then. Oh, that's good play. Oh, that's brilliant play from Tadai. He, he's been probably my standout player after having a bit of a slow start to die and obviously scored the goal but Man United can be dangerous as well obviously there's Nani Nani's done that a few times now just stepped away from the ball I thought that was 2-1 I thought that was 2-1 thankfully it was Anderson not Rooney with a shot um, Lamella's very tired, isn't he? Okay. And let's get Osvaldo, because he can play out wide as well. And let's have Destro as the centre forward. Totti is getting tired. He hasn't really got the legs anymore. And... That will do. Just swap them around in midfield as well. But yeah, that'll do. Pires is knackered. My right back. But just... I haven't got a lot of options at right back. Apart from him. Oh, Ashley Young's come on. Where's Van Persie then? Maybe he's injured. I'm sure he was at United now. He was. He definitely was. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's brilliant by overplaying. So we've got Brad Bobley. Or Bob Bradley. Bob Brad, Bob Brad I can't say it. <laughs> Bob Bradley has come on in midfield. I still can't remember his first name. I haven't checked. I I'm sure it's Michael Bradley. I don't know why I'm thinking that. 
Oh, it's nice. There was just no way past. Oh, the hair gets away with that. This is good pressing from Roma. Oh, it's so good, this game, though. I say this every episode, don't I? It is. Uh-oh, Nani. Nani is in. Oh, my days. Is that Rooney? It is. How has he missed that? He should have done better from that low cross. Says the assistant commentator, whose name I always forget. And he is right on this occasion. Rooney should be burying that with his ability. Right, I'll take this point, I think. Nothing silly. Let's try and get a last-minute winner, actually. See what I can do. Oh, that weren't bad, you know. That little phase of play. That was nice. Nice stuff from Roma. And the whistle blows. It's 1-1. So, a win and a draw in my first two fixtures. Four points, which is not bad at all. But I need to score more goals. I can't rely on scoring one goal every match. I need to be scoring twos and threes. Anyway, let's have a look at the league table, the group stage table. Roma, top of the group. Look at that. Joint points from Man United. Then Fenerbahce with three. Spartak still haven't picked up any points. Look out for match day three, episode three coming very soon guys i'm gonna keep this rolling i'm enjoying myself look out for all the other content we have planned for the channel as well i'll speak to you all soon